Title, Lightning Jim Hines, The Man Faster Than Your Wi-Fi, Takes His Final Lap. TL, DR, Speed Titan and NFL alumni Jim Hines, famed for his lightning-fast sprint, taking the 100 meters under the magical 10 seconds barrier, has run his last race at 76. Though his move to the NFL highlighted his speedy feet over handy receptions, his legendary run continues to be the stuff of athletic lore. Now let's get into it. Speed demon Jim Hines, the man who could probably outrun your crappy Wi-Fi signal, has sadly checked out at the ripe old age of 76. Known for etching his name in the annals of athletics by doing what no one else could, shattering the 10-second barrier for the 100 meters sprint, Jim will forever remain a legend. But let's not forget the twist in his career trajectory, when he swapped his sprinter's spikes for the rough and tumble of the NFL. Now there's a curveball, right? While his move to the NFL seemed an exciting prospect, it turns out his hands weren't as quick to catch as his feet were to sprint. Still, who needs hands when your feet are basically roadrunners? Meep, meep. Yet, what if he had stuck to sprinting, continued to push the boundaries of human speed? Could we have had a 9 second 100 meters sprint a decade before the likes of Usain Bolt? And what would his legacy be if he hadn't dipped his toes into the world of American football? While we can't rewrite history, we sure can appreciate it. Despite not lighting up the NFL with his receptions, Jim Hines certainly lit up the world of athletics with his blazing speed. A beacon in the timeline of athletic achievements, his remarkable feat is still the yardstick by which sprinting greatness is measured. Now how cool is that? As we bid farewell to this trailblazer, we're left pondering what it truly means to leave a mark on the world. Are we defined by our crowning achievements, our detours, or the risks we take? What does Jim Hines' story tell us about choosing to follow our passion versus venturing into new territories? And how about you? Would you stick with what you're good at, or would you plunge into the unknown just for the thrill of it? Note, this article does not provide investment, legal, or health advice. It is not intended to be a substitute for professional advice and should not be relied on as such. Please seek the advice of professionals, as appropriate, regarding the evaluation of any specific information, opinion, advice, or other content. So what's it gonna be, folks? Would you rather be a one-trick pony mastering your art or a jack-of-all-trades testing new orders? Let's get the conversation started.